Hi and welcome everyone to a new episode indoor today and maybe a couple also in the future because uh, we have to talk about casting and there will be a lot of bad bad weather in the winter and also a lot of wind and disturbance to be focused on certain things I would like to communicate and I welcome you here to a completely new reality in fly casting I would like to invite you to. I never stopped practicing casting a fly but at some stage I got very bored from all this standard casting and I started to experiment and I also started to experiment with casting faults and casting mistakes and one day another good friend of mine made a casting mistake which is now known as the bunker spay or the cool cast because I transferred that casting mistake in a whole casting technique and that casting technique made me question a lot of questions ask a lot of questions that casting instructors can't answer or that casting instructors constantly avoid and I found a couple of gaps in the knowledge and knowledge contains two words learning and also unlearning the difficult part that I'm doing here is the unlearning because we have been put on a filter on a fly fishing perception that is heavily distorting the process of how we should look at fly casting. And I found a science behind how we should look a little bit more into fly casting and cut through all the bro science out there. And that science is called the science of control theory. And I am cross, not transfer knowledgeing the science of control theory into the current teachings of fly casting, which are no science at all, but more like a brew science cult that has been made up from, hmm, let me say, partly doubtful people of doubtful education in parts. I don't want to get more into detail here, but fly casting is a mighty fetish. And if you watch a mighty caster casting, your mind gets so hypnotized by them casts that this person can talk, can say anything to you and you'll believe it. Or why? Are there so little questions asked? Let me give you an example to close this episode. Go out there and ask any fly fisher in the world, any casting instructor anywhere in the world, and they all we all agree on the following fact. Even Mel Grego says that to communicate and to learn the feel of a fly rod is the most difficult. Now let me ask you the question, and that is, how do you feel a fly rod? This is the question you should ask your next best fly casting enthusiast, and then you pay attention to what the answer is going to be. I make a prediction now. You will get an answer, but none of them answers will talk about how you feel the fly rod, the answers will only be that you have to practice and what you have to do to get the fly to here and there and your arm is an extension of your body and that kind of crack. But you will not get a description on precisely how to feel a fly rod. Check it out, try it for yourself. This is a proof that 
the teachings in fly casting are only teaching a very low level of control because if they would teach a higher level of control they would know how to feel a fly rod that is what the science of control theory says if you transfer the knowledge into fly casting which i did and I teach that in my classes, and you're very welcome to one. Get in contact with me, Coolcaster Official, on Instagram or through the channel here or on Spinergy.com. And thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this indoor episode a little bit, and we chat soon again. Like it and subscribe.